The engine code P0480 stands for Cooling Fan 1 Control Circuit Malfunction. This means your vehicle's powertrain control module, PCM, has detected an incorrect voltage, too high or too low, in the circuit that controls the primary electric cooling fan. This is a moderately serious code because a non-functioning cooling fan can lead to engine overheating and severe damage, so it should be addressed promptly. Symptoms of a cooling fan not working include engine overheating, especially at low speeds or while idling, a temperature warning light, and steam from the engine bay. Other signs are a weak or non-existent air conditioning, unusual noises from the engine bay like grinding or rattling, and the fan not spinning when the engine is hot. You might also see the check engine light come on. Common causes of P0480, the malfunction is usually caused by an issue in the fan's electrical circuit or the components it controls. Common causes include number one blown fuse for the fan circuit, number two faulty cooling fan, relay number three defective cooling fan, one motor, number four wiring connection issues, number five faulty coolant temperature sensor, CTS, number six faulty fan control module, if equipped, PCM, ECM failure. Steps to diagnose and fix code P0480. Fixing the P0480 code requires a systematic inspection of the components of the fan one control circuit. Number one is a visual inspection. Check the cooling fan itself. Make sure nothing is blocking it and that it rotates freely by hand when the car is off and cold. Check the wiring harness and connectors of the cooling fan and relay. Look for signs of damage, melting, corrosion, or loose connections. If these problems are found, be sure to repair them. Number two, check fuses and relays. Identify and test the fuses for the cooling fan circuit. A blown fuse is often caused by a failed fan motor, short circuit, or mechanical resistance to the fan, not the fuse itself. Any blown fuse should be replaced. Find the cooling fan one relay. This is a good way to tell if it's bad. You can also test it with a multimeter or, or temporarily swap it with a known good, identical relay, such as a horn or ASC clutch relay, to see if the fan works. If the radiator fan turns on after replacing the relay, be sure to install a new relay. Number three, check the coolant temperature sensor, CTS the coolant temperature sensor, CTS, works with the engine's computer and a relay that automatically turns on the radiator fan when the engine gets too hot, such as when the engine coolant temperature reaches 90 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius. A faulty sensor will not turn on the fan. You can use a scan tool to monitor the sensor's readings. A bad coolant temperature sensor, CTS, can trigger fault codes such as P0115, P0116, P0117, circuit low, P0118, circuit high, or P0119, intermittent. You can fix the problem by replacing the faulty sensor. Number four, check the cooling fan. If the radiator fan relay and fuse are good, then check the fan motor directly. I have uploaded a video on this channel earlier on how to easily check the fan motor. I will provide the video link in the description box of this video. Please watch it. If the fan does not work, then the fan motor is faulty and needs to be replaced. Number five, check wiring circuit. Use a multimeter to check for continuity and proper voltage and ground signals throughout the fan control circuit following your vehicle's specific wiring diagram. Make sure the PCM is sending a command signal to the relay. Check to see if the engine temperature sensor is sending a 5 volt signal from the PCM. Remember that if the fan relay or coolant temperature sensor signal is not coming from the engine control module, the radiator fan will not turn on. If there is no problem with the cable connection then, engine ECU problem, repair or replace the ECU. And even if the radiator fan relay is damaged like this, your radiator fan will not running. Thank you very much for watching the full video.